Is this toad really the size of a pea? Is this bird smarter than you? And could zombie deers infect humans? What a wild week. The world's smallest vertebrate. In a recent discovery, biologists in Brazil have confirmed the existence of the world's tiniest vertebrate, a minuscule frog known as Brachycephalus pulex, or the Brazilian flea toad. Vertebrates include all species of the subphylum vertebrata. But what does this mean? Well, quite simply, like you and me, it means the animal has a backbone, or a vertebral column. Vertebrates include me, you, and the rest of class mammalia, as well as fish, reptiles, birds, and amphibians. The findings from this new study have been published in the journal Zoologica Scripta, detailing the minute dimensions of this unique amphibian. Initially discovered in 2011, researchers were intrigued by the frog's elusive nature and restricted habitat, nestled among the hills of southern Bahia, the only place this frog can be found. In order to make sure the team had precise measurements, they revisited the original site of discovery. They then caught several other individuals which were later released. The reason for this was to make sure the frogs they were measuring had definitely reached maturity. In other words, they only wanted to measure the fully grown adults. So how do you know when a Brazilian flea toad is fully mature? Well, to do so, the team had to check both the gonads and the vocal slits. Once the maturity was confirmed, they could then go in for the full-blown measurements. The team's analysis, based on 46 specimens, revealed astonishing results. On average, males measured just over 7mm in length, which is smaller than a pea. To put this into perspective, two of these frogs could comfortably perch on the end of your pinky fingernail. Females were slightly larger, averaging at one millimetre longer than the males, but the most notable measurement came from the smallest specimen. Measuring a mere 6.45 millimetres, a staggering 30% smaller than any previously documented frog, while this discovery marks the smallest observed vertebrate to date, researchers reckon that even tinier organisms may exist. They're just somewhere out there awaiting discovery. But being very small comes with huge challenges. Many tiny frogs exhibit peculiar characteristics, such as reduced toe count or insufficiently formed ears. Researchers think that if frogs were any smaller, these characteristics could hinder their survival in the wild. These birds have scored as high as apes in cognitive tests. A pair of animal behaviourists at the National University of Singapore have turned the avian world upside down with their latest research on one of the world's coolest birds. The study has revealed that oriental pied hornbills possess a cognitive ability previously thought to be exclusive to apes. Object permanence. So what is object permanence? Object permanence is the ability to understand that an object continues to exist even when it's out of sight. Let's look at an example. Imagine you're enjoying a coffee at your local cafe. You take a sip and put your coffee down when all of a sudden someone taps you on the shoulder and starts talking to you. Now in that split second, what happens to your coffee? Does it cease to exist the moment that you look away? No, of course not you know that your coffee is patiently waiting on the table for you to have another sip. So even though the coffee was briefly out of sight, you still were aware that it exists. And that's sort of the notion of object permanence. Object permanence has long been a hallmark of higher intelligence, typically associated with our primate cousins. And now it seems hornbills. The only other two types of birds that have demonstrated this previously were corvids and parrots. The hornbills in this study were certainly no bird brains. They were put through their paces with tasks to challenge their understanding of object permanence. The hornbills were initially shown where a treat was and trained to recognise it by pecking in its direction. The birds were then individually placed in a cage that allowed the hornbills to look through and watch the researchers hiding treats under a small red cup. The bird would then be invited to see if it could locate the hidden treat by pecking where it thought it was. And as the experiment went on, the tests got more and more challenging. 
After this initial stage, the treat was then placed under multiple cups and was moved around before the bird was asked to locate it again. The last stage was then the displacement stage. The hornbills were allowed to watch the treat being placed underneath a box, but were then prevented from seeing where the treat moved to. In trying to catch the birds out, the birds seemed to catch on, outsmarting their human researchers. This discovery not only sheds light on the cognitive ability of hornbills and birds generally, but also challenges our understanding of animal intelligence as a whole. So if you ever find yourself face to face with an oriental pied hornbill, remember you might just be looking at one of nature's most underrated geniuses. Zombie deer disease could jump to humans. None of us are strangers to the dangers of disease. Witnessing and living through the last few years of a very real global pandemic has reframed the way many of us think about contagious diseases, particularly those that have the ability to jump between species. In the grasslands and woodlands of North America, a catastrophic disease has taken hold of the deer population, hence the name zombie deer disease. Also known as chronic wasting disease, or CWD, this prion disease affects cervids, including deer, elk, moose, and other hooved ruminant mammals. It's a neurological condition with an array of symptoms such as drooling, lethargy, stumbling, and a vacant gaze. To try and put into words the scale of this issue, in Wyoming alone, over 800 samples have been detected. So what is a prion, the agent responsible for this disease? Prions aren't bacteria or viruses like many other diseases. They're a transmissible pathogenic type of protein that can cause other normal cellular proteins to fold abnormally, usually in the brain. You may be familiar with another prion disease which caused widespread devastation in cattle, mad cow disease. This was proof that prions could jump across the species barrier, in other words, jump from one species to another. In the UK, mad cow disease resulted in the slaughter of millions of cattle and led to 178 human deaths since 1995. Prion diseases like chronic wasting disease or zombie deer disease are particularly worrisome due to their resilience, as they are highly resistant and can persist in the environment for years. And the spread of CWD not only poses ecological risks, but also potential threats to human health. While there isn't yet definitive evidence of direct transmission to humans, concerns persist given the possibility shown by previous prion diseases. That and the fact that CWD prions have propagated human cells within laboratory settings. Humans are already exposed to infected animals from hunting and eating them. 7,000 to 15,000 CWD infected animals were eaten in the year 2017 with that figure set to rise 20% every year. To add even more fuel to the fire, detecting and diagnosing prion diseases in humans is very challenging. They don't elicit an immune response like other infectious agents, making early intervention very difficult. And it doesn't end here. The potential for CWD to affect human health extends beyond direct transmission. Indirect exposure through contaminated soil and water sources is also a great concern due to the environmental persistence of prions. Beyond health risks, CWD threatens ecosystems and economies reliant on deer populations for hunting and sustenance. With cases of CWD now detected in Europe, international cooperation is crucial in monitoring and controlling the spread of this disease. So there you have it, those were some of the wildest stories of the week. Hit the like button, click subscribe and I'll see you back here next week to catch you up on all things wild.